Alice. No. Alice, wait a minute. No. Wait a minute. Don't catch me. What's the matter with you? Just how stupid do you think I am? What are you talking about? You know perfectly well what I'm talking about. You've really got me folks, really. Just look into what you've been doing. Okay, cut out all the devil talk. What's so funny? You're funny, Freddy. You're a very funny man. You've got me foxed, really. Why don't you just go away? Why don't you just get out of my life permanently? Oh, stop acting, will you? I mean, Don't touch me. Come on, Alice. Stop acting. No, I said don't touch me, please. Don't ever touch me ever again, ever. You know, you're really acting quite impossible. I'm not a mind reader, sport. I wish I were. I wish I knew what goes on in that screwy little brain of yours. How come you think that everybody in the world is stupid except for you? <laughs> Boy, you're really talking in circles. How much of a phony can you be? Listen, I don't have to stay here and listen to all these hysterics. You don't even have the courtesy to tell me what this is all about. And? I'm a woman, and not a fool, Freddy. I know what goes on around me. I watched you, and I watched him. Him? Him, yes, him. Some little <laughs> faggot boy that half the world knows about. What are you, some kind of nut or something? Believe Alice, you, you haven't changed. You just had me con. Believe in you. How the hell can I believe in you? You've been killing my babies one right after the other. Look, I said that ever, I want, I want children ever since too. Since we've been married, I've had abortion after abortion. My. Look, I want babies too. Can't you believe that? I just want to have a child when things are right between us, that's all. Right between us. Yes, right between yeah. us. Right between us. Right, yeah. Mm-hmm. Sure. All right, then why don't we have a baby? Hmm? Let's have a baby. Well, yeah. Wait, you, can, you mean just like that? Yeah, you yeah, let's have a baby. Well, it's not the time. That is a cop out, you faggot. Do you, do, you, do you know what you're doing? That you keep you keep saying these things to me. All right, about faggot. Oh, you're projecting, Alice, because you're trying to to see things in me that you see in your own self. Bullshit. You're just turning everything around to suit yourself. Oh, no, you just a... don't want any responsibilities. All, you don't want any wives. It's all part of you your fantasy. You don't want marriage. Fantasy. You don't want it's children. It's part of your fantasy that you You would... just want the gay world, Freddy. G-A-Y, right, huh? The top going gets a little tough, a little too tough, and you run off. Fuck you! If you're gonna talk Speaking that of way, fuck boy, all right. How we've we been making gonna... love lately. We're never gonna have any babies. And that's the way you want it. That's the way you fuck want it. Fuck you! But now, let, let me hear your, 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 let me hear this sound. That's dreadful. What? This is terrible. Uh, is that what we've been getting all the time? That's dreadful.
Maria, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. No, this one, where does this one go? Yeah. Oh, this one goes here. Maria is, uh, if I may use the expression, oh, where, six now, yeah. is uh, plugging me in. Yeah, so I see. Where did you people get to work? Roland, yeah. where does this one go? Here, right of it. Okay, now then. Now all we have you were to do telling is, me the name of the game is sexuality? Uh, yeah. Uh, the important thing is that I want to make sure that um, everything that happens on the set, I mean, whether it's off off camera or whether it's among the crew or whether it's uh, being shot, ha thematically, I mean, we should be constantly relating to uh, sexuality and sexuality. Uh, but anyway, the point is that, um, uh, like, oh, here's that woman with the tits. Hey, hey, here, there's, there's the one right down there. Get her, get her. Yeah, no, she's coming, she's coming. Yeah. All right. All right. She's there now. They're bouncing Japs. Oh, Grease, you're a dirty old man. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not, I... No, don't take me seriously. Um, but anyway, uh, Terry, your your job is that you're the um, the um, the person that is in charge of filming this film being filmed. Okay? Hey, where's the switch in this goddamn thing? If sometimes we you see us in trouble, then you come and help us out. You know what I mean? Uh, but otherwise, uh, like the, the, if you see cars going by, you can integrate that into the general action if you want to. Or if you see an old lady walking a dog, here's an old lady. Well, I don't here, understand. Right what did you here. say about uh, I'm, who's supposed to be in charge of the actors? I mean, filming the actors? You and I are going to be filming the actors. I mean, the two of us. Don't see, come into my shop. Are going to be filming the actors uh, continuously. You're going to be filming me and the actors, and I'm going to be filming the actors. And Terry is going to be in charge of filming the whole thing, you see. Um, and I'm saying to him that if he sees the two of us in trouble, then he'll come and help us. We're going to start in another two minutes. Uh, we're just waiting for Pat. You said, you said want to make sure we start with a fresh magazine. Oh, well, the camera should start with a fresh All magazine. Right, okay, fine. That's a good idea. What, what, I want what a short end. What's your exposure here? You're in the shade here, wide open. No, uh, I'm sorry. What, what's your, how much footage have you... I don't know. The footage counter is busted on this. The footage count is what? How long have you, you been shooting? I'm not out of film, but I'm not sure how much more I have, so I want to start with a fresh magazine. Right. Uh, Bob, yeah. uh, can he have another magazine? We got one. My assistant, my trusty assistant. Another, you're changing magazines. Another magazine? Yeah, I'm going to change magazines. Well, where, is it? where are change. the people? That's what I'm going to get up. We've got three guys standing here. You've got to pick it up. If he wants another magazine, somebody's got to get it. He's got one. Are you sure he's, you he's got one. He's yeah, got one. He's okay, going to do I'm a big scene. Tape. He wants All another right. magazine because he, he's already another magazine for Larner. I got a magazine. You got it. It. a new magazine? Here it is. Oh, never mind. Never mind. It's here. This isn't... <laughs> <laughs> Who says this isn't an efficient crew? Yeah. Okay, all right, let's, let's go. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, can we ask you to be... Ladies, uh, 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 look, uh, we don't mind you watching, but please, you have, to, you have to cooperate with us and be very, very quiet, okay? Because otherwise, you know, the sound system doesn't hear the actors. So if you would just... You know, we don't mind you watching, and we've already got you on film, so you're going to be famous. But, uh... What picture are you going to watch? Huh? It, it, uh, it's a picture that's coming out uh, next year sometime. You'll... Oh, I'll be dead. No, you won't be dead. <laughs> but anyway, the, 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 well, the name right now is over the cliff. I don't know what... The, the name of the picture right now is over the cliff, but it may be, it may be changed. No, no, we're jumping off a cliff. Uh, anyway, the point is this, that um, be very, very quiet, and you can watch from over there, okay? Thank you. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, we're going to be shooting in the park during uh, weekdays, so uh, all next week. Yeah, no, just so we can for like a All right, the number of the permit is... Um, Damn, you get up there. <laughs> yeah, do you mind being on camera? No, no, no. Okay, and here's the location that we're shooting on right now. 68th Street off Central Park West, 82, right? So right. we have it on this yeah. on the schedule A. Just so I got right. that information for you. Sure, fine. Thanks a lot. What kind of move picture you make? What kind? Um, well, it's a feature. It's a feature length. Huh? Uh, it's a feature length. Uh, we like don't know. Don't, you don't know. It's, it's a feature length. We don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll find out after we develop. Uh, the tentative. The tentative title of it is Over the Cliff. Over the Cliff. We gotta find the cliff now. Huh? We've got it. This is this is the cliff. This is the cliff. This is the cliff. <laughs> Who named it? Uh, I think Terry. Where's Terry? Oh, yeah, yeah. You okay, the one that named it. Right. Over the cliff. Did okay. you say over the cliff? Yeah, right. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye, have a nice. <laughs> bye, Governor. You fucking idiot. He says bye, Governor. Um, could you go down there and get a shot of her sitting on the statue? And, and Don will come up and... Uh, Terry's still shooting, huh? Start the scene from there. Follow me? Okay, so go, if you go down there, you, you get it. This is that Civil War. So who do you want me to stay with? Go with you, Terry? Terry, are you running? Hey, this, is this the only one? Turkey. Don, uh, Don stay there. This is uh, 13. Did you slay it? Yes. Okay, action! All right, clear out of the way here. Clear out of the way. Nikki, you come back this way. Behind me. Alice? Wait, Alice. Stop here. Come on, fellas. No, please tell me who, uh, who, uh, what the problem is. It's... Why, why, why are you acting so funny? Jonathan, you've got to come inside. Uh, you're funny. You're funny. Stop. Stop. You're really a very funny man. Let's get the crew out, please. And, you know, you, you really have me fun. Why don't you just get out of my life? Get out permanently once and for all and forever. Oh, oh now come on. Look, will you stop Take acting? Your Just hands off oh, me. Stop Take acting. Your hands off me. You know, you're acting absolutely impossible. I'm not a mind reader. Boy, I wish I were. I sure as hell wish I were a mind reader. It'd be actually be nice if we could have a little more time to walk into it. This is what I'd like to do. I don't want you to, to, to if get we're going to the... get no. Yeah. If we're going to look as if as if I've been following her in the park for 20 minutes, right? I'd like to get about 20 feet beyond sure, her. Sure, fine. And then run up and catch up with her. Yeah. So on my first Alice, it's like the first conversation right. I've, I've had with her in right. half an hour. Right. So it just depends on about where you want the, to, to, that to commence. The, the that sound, dialogue yeah, to commence. I, I would. I would. Yeah, some, some, somewhere okay. in here. Okay. 
Um, what's happening is that uh, we're getting too much of a clutter, you know, of Am people. I too fast? Yes, I think you yeah. are. Don't, 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 don't get yeah. behind them. Sorry. Also, if, no, don't get <laughs> stay smart, but stay be, stay behind the camera. If you could, uh, if you could take it, if you could take it slower. See, you know, I, I mean, pull away from him. You know, yeah, pull away from him. I have the feeling yeah. you say that she is going home. Right. And that's she's going home. Right. And she's. Like, right. you know, she's moving. All right, then look. Uh, so what I'll right. try to do you is to walk slow, you have to stop her. but you look like I'm walking fast. Yeah, I don't know how to her. do that, but. You know, you really got to stop her. Yeah. I uh, tell you guys, you're but, shooting in such a black thing that you're not going to get anything. What have, what have we got? Well, I mean, I, I can see it. You're around at oh, F15 one one for 1-2. Is it Yeah. F, F2. 1-2, and you area. have a 2-8 lens, well, okay. so. Yeah. Um, I think it'll be rather rather, yeah. rather underexposed. All right. Um, Camera B and C are both rolling, but uh, there are no slates for this. Personal note from Mr. Rosen to the assistant editor. Uh, the reason why all these slates are so fucked up is because they're not sure whether or not the action counts more or the slates count more. And so sometimes you get the slates and sometimes you get the action. So have fun, Booby. All right, we just had a jam in a magazine. Cut. So this marker will work. Or the same well, stuff that all the people that yeah. work the... Second stop. You think it's a stop? I'm just wondering, you know, you do get snow. I'm just, uh, How's yours? Right, Roll jam. Are you rolling? Right. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Slate. So roll X1. Slate. Right. Yeah. What were you saying, Bob, on all this? Well, we're just sitting around here, and... Um, we're just going to rap a little bit about the film. Um, and we'll, you know, we'll get into it. And when we get into it, you know, uh, the people out there will understand. You know, they'll catch on. And, um, you know, we'll explain it as we go along. Okay, but I think maybe we should say just exactly how it, how it occurred to us to right. be here this way uh, uh, without the director, right. uh, without the actors, um, and in something which... Uh, we know it's not, it's not a part of the film, at least not as far as we know. But we were sitting around the other night, and, we, and in talking, a few of us, we realized that here is, a, here is an open-ended film with no plot that we can see, with no end that we can see, and an action that we can't follow. We're all intelligent people. The obvious thing is to fill in the blanks, to create for each of our own selves a, a, a film that we understand. And if we try to think about the reasoning of the director for allowing us the opportunity to do this, giving us the circumstances that enable us to be able to sit here, we can only conclude, at least we did last night, that he wanted it like this. Sure, right. Why don't you cut? I'm holding Now he, what? No, we don't run two no, cameras, for God's sake. You can't get it. All right, give he me can a get it. Please, then. Steve, just let one person run it. Give me a tail slate, then. Thank you. Please. Okay. Now, let's just run one camera um, to talk. Okay. Now, the thing is, we were sitting so around, we're angry, and we were talking about this, and it just happened, you know, just like that. Because there we were, and we were talking just, there were like five of us, five of the members of the crew. That's all the people, you know, all the people who are sitting here right now, you know, are members of the crew. You know, the director does not know that we are photographing, you know, this scene. We're doing it on our own. And we were sitting there, and it occurred to us, while we were trying to figure out what the film was about, you know, that we should be filming. This. Yeah, like he wants us to help him right. make a because film. Right, we're really the only people who are in, the, in a position so far to be able to comment, you know, about the film. Because the director, Bill Greaves, he is so far in, into, you know, making the film that he has no perspective. And if you ask him, what is the film about, you know, he just gives you some answer that's just vaguer than the question. I mean, it, it just is so vague that, you, that it, you know, that it'd be better if you hadn't asked the question in the first place. And if you ask the actors what they think the film is about, all they can tell you is what they thought of the lines that they were reading. You know, they're just plugged into just one line. So if there's a line like, come on, sport, you know, give me a chance, you know, some banal piece like that, they can say, well, I didn't think that line was good. I mean, I would have, you know, I would have liked to, you know, to have read it differently with a different line. So they really don't know what's happening either. Now, we've been working on this thing for like four days, and we've all been you know, more or less uh, near where the action was taking place. So 
we are the only people who can really sort of function like a chorus, you know, to figure out what we're actually doing here. I think it's our obligation well, to function. Well, I, I, I think this point has been well established now. I think that, that all right. that we want to do, uh, uh, questions were asked to me this morning, as a matter of fact. I believe, uh, uh, Phil, uh, you asked me something about what, what, what did I think about what was going to happen tonight. When we stood outside on the side by the truck, yeah. And I, I told you to save it till the night. You had some opinions. What were your opinions about Bill Grease? Well, number one, I don't... Uh, he doesn't know how to direct. He's into blocking. That's all he does. He sits around, he gives movement. Uh, after reading about something about what his film is based on, he's not doing anything which he, he has put down on paper. There's no communication between him have and you, have the you, Have you read the, the presentation plus the script? Uh, yes. Oh, so you know, so you know more about what's in his mind than, say, I do. Maybe. Uh -huh. Yes. From a technical point. Have you talked with you? No, he hasn't. Huh. Well, what, if, what? Instead of looking at it this way, instead of, instead of uh, commenting on the goodness or badness of Bill's direction. Maybe it would be more useful to talk about how interesting the non-direction is. Because right. you see, it doesn't make any difference at this point whether Bill's direction is good or bad. Bill's direction has enabled us to sit here and talk like this, has compelled us even to be interested this way. And right. so it's really his non-direction that interests us. Right, well, well uh, let's make one thing clear. I mean, before we go any further. I mean, this is a note, you know, sort of to Bill. You know, when you watch this, Bill, and to anybody else out there who may be watching it too, if he decides to put this into the film. Um, we are not trying to take the film away from Bill Greaves. No, but you know? just for two hours. Well, for two hours, all right, but he's got the choice to, you know, uh, to, to edit any th this, this stuff any way he wants. So, uh, so we're not, you know, we're, it's, it's not like we've got together to rape the director. Right. All I right? disagree. You think we are doing that? No, I think that the basic premise is wrong because I think that a director's film is, is his mind photographing the world. And I think if you say that you're going to show him what's in his mind or what ought to be in his mind, then, then you're, you're taking away a director's film from the director. But he doesn't have to use any of this. No, he play. doesn't. No, he no, doesn't. No. But you to see, clarify the action. The word, the word used was rape. Right. The word, the word used was rape. Right. I think, Nikki, I think we, the thing in our minds is we wonder if the director knows what's in his own mind. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think know. we have to right. allow him that privilege. Or I, I would say that if I were a director, I right. would well, like to be allowed that privilege. Not, we are not trying to tell the director what's in his own mind. I think the director had this in mind. Don't you see? This is a movie where the director plays a different role, it seems to me, than in other movies. Here's a director who sets up a situation, brings a crew of people who can think, and doesn't tell them what's going to happen, and, and does exactly what Phil says. Well. Let's just take that for what it is and say that it leads to our participation in it. Right. Um, you that's know, that's what I mean. And in this sense, we we're not raping Bill or, or telling him what's in his mind. We are doing our function, our function in the film. That's right. Which the is thing what? Is, yeah. Which is to do the, well, what the we're doing. Well, the thing is this that, that, for, that, that it must have taken, you know, some real great inner need, whether or not Bill is capable or, or cares to articulate it consciously. All right. right. That nobody would come up with such a crazy idea for a film. Uh, Barbara, you want to move out of there? Uh, what's the situation with uh, with, uh, with with Ron? I mean, will he always be over? Well, he's doing a job for three people. That's what I want to know because I said if well, we do it, can't do it all. No, th but if Roland is going to do well, the job for three people, then, the then he should be in charge. Of all the magazines should yeah. have a piece of tape on them. Every yeah. magazine, yeah. Yeah. Right? And yeah. three magazines should be assigned to each camera. Yeah. All right. Fine. And on the on the on the piece of gaffer tape on the magazine, you write what roll number you're at. Right. All right, so right. if it goes back to Roland and it lies around somewhere, he'll always know which one it Yeah, but well, what I'm suggesting now is that Roland be put in charge of all equipment. And not... So, and not, uh, well, wait a well, minute. Who's no. going to do your thing? Um, no, all right. Uh, what we'll have to do is have Roland in charge of the equipment in the mornings, you know, before we come and see that everything's yeah. sorted out. Once, Once we get everything right. today, yeah. you know, no, no, I'm just, first I'm just day, when yeah. we get everything sorted out, we're you won't exploring. have any of these problems. We're exploring. We're exploring the problem. The magazines yeah. haven't been marked yet. Yeah. When they get marked, you won't okay. have any right. difficulty. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, I don't understand your... All right. uh, I mean, I understand okay. you ready, your uh, unwillingness we to... We can go over here. Let's take these uh, chairs. ...to right. change the tape every time you change a magazine. Yeah, you got empty wheels. But we have established we have established that as a convention uh, for the editor. So it doesn't matter. Well, 
Uh, he has to run uh, all that uh, off. Unless, yeah. unless there's something happening that is fantastic, you know, where you do a 10-second magazine. This was a good idea. You must have that sound I guy. I can do that. Yes, all right. right. From now on, unless something like that is happening, no then um, and only Jonathan then, and Paul, you know, I, um, run on, you know, run a second magazine onto the same paper. Well Otherwise, keep them separate. Come on over now. Okay. Okay. All Fine. Right, Jonathan, okay. Paul. What are you doing? You want to slate? It's slated. Huh? It is. You want? Hmm? We don't need you, Bob Rose. All right. We don't need you. I'm sorry. Okay. I don't know where you are, mister, but I do know I, I just want you to get right out of my life. You have been killing my babies one right after the other, and you want me to believe in you? Now, 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 now don't you think that I want to have children, too? All right? But I, uh, b uh, but I want us to, uh, uh, to be right bullshit. before we start happening. That's a lot of bullshit. All I've known is I have had abortion after abortion after abortion ever since we've been married. And I'm, I'm just putting an end to all of that. I mean, you've ruined my health because you're sick. Okay, all right, fine. But you're not going to destroy me? No, no, Alice. Every time you've had sex with me, it's as though you've raped me. You know, I'm not some kind of a whore that you just go and get oh, your kicks in. God. I mean, who wouldn't be cold and frigid with somebody coming on like a goddamn fucking little Nazi stormtrooper? Look, I, um, <sighs> all right, um, Okay. This is a pretty long scene, isn't it? No kidding, Dad. Wow. Um, You're going to have to have movement in sections, too, unless... Well, I, I guess not when you shoot like well, this. Well, yeah, no, well... Because I was thinking in terms of light setups well, the, and everything the, the else. Important you're thing, not the important it. thing is that you, and you can do anything you want. I mean, because, see, we're absolutely disconnected from everything. This is yeah. the beauty of the, this kind of shooting. You don't have to worry about a thing. You just do your thing. All of these guys are absolutely year to function in terms of the reality that's happening at that moment. They're not, they're not in any way um, uh, dependent, you know, on something being lined up properly. They'll, they'll get it. Don't worry about it. You just go ahead and do, you know, whatever it is that is organic to you well, and organic to the moment for you. You know what I mean? Well, we'll just do it. Uh, section by section, but by the end of the day, what I would like to do, really, yeah. is run the whole thing non-stop, you know, because I think that you will have Depends committed it. Don't you think so, Pat? Right. <laughs> well, I think that if we do it section by section, we'll kill two birds with one stone. On the one hand, we'll be able to make sure that we've got each sequence to, in a sense, our satisfaction. Then, th at the end of the day, we'll run the whole thing uh, completely non-stop, you know, with all the cameras, everything going at once, and then we'll see what happens. Okay? Alice? Alice, wait a minute. No. Hi, Alice, come on, come on. No, come don't on. don't touch me. Alice, for Christ's sake, what is eating you? Well, just how stupid do you think I am? Well, what are you talking about? You know perfectly well what I'm talking about. I wish... I, I wish you would just tell me what is bothering you. Huh? What's so funny? You're so funny. That's what's so funny. You're really a very funny man. Alice, you, uh, you really have me foxed. Do you know that? Why don't you just get out of my life, huh? Just once and for all permanently. Just get out of my life. Oh, come on. <gasps> Look, will you stop acting? Come on. Look, for the last time, will you please tell me what is bugging you? No, you tell me what is, or better yet, who is bugging you. You're certainly talking in circles. Am I really? Am I really? Well, just how much of a phony can you be? 
Look, I don't have to stay here and listen to these hysterics, you know. You could at least have the courtesy to tell me what is going on. You know, I've really just put up with your escapades long enough. I really have. I've just about had it. Yeah, you, you don't even have the, uh, the courtesy to tell me what's going on. I am a woman. <laughs> and? I am a woman, Freddie. I am not a fool. And if you think I'm going to stand around like some idiot with egg on my face while you play your friggin' games, you've got another thing coming. What? I... I saw you. I saw you looking at him, and I saw him looking at you. I saw that whole thing. H him? What? That's right, him. That's right, him. Him. A little faggot that everybody knows all about. Alice, what are you, some kind of nut? Look now, I have put up with your escapades long enough. I mean, I saw you two just... Cut. Sorry. Uh, we, we ran out of film there. Uh, do you want to... Uh, well, um, what we'll do is uh, pick it up All right. again. We ran out of film there. And but, then you uh, got the squad car. <laughs> you got... We got the squad car over there, which is sorry. Uh, so we'll uh, pick this up from here. Um, how do you um, how do you um, how do you feel about the scene since you've uh, you know done it last time? I mean, have any thoughts come to mind? Anything well, about I, it that I feel I want to I want to lower. Huh? I want to lower. Lower? Yeah, I want to. Uh, I felt. There was, I was doing too much overacting last time. You felt it was too I need broad. More, I need more time. Yeah. I need, I need lots of time. And that's why I'm trying. Yeah, take your time. Okay. Just, and I have a tendency to rush. You know, mm -hmm. Always have that. Mm -hmm. Plain old insecurity. That's oh, listen, baby. honey. <laughs> well, you're also they conscious of, it, you know. of film going. See, that's the, when you when you rehearse, there's no film, and you suddenly hear the click, the click, the click, the click, the click, the click, the click. I don't. I do. I sure as hell do. How do you feel, Don? I mean, I just like to act better. That's all. That's my problem. Well, do you feel that you're you're more in just the short? Yeah, I feel better. I feel better. More comfortable about it. You feel more involved in the. Mm-hmm. I don't feel more involved. I feel more com comfortable. I would like to get more involved. Well, It'd be nice to start all over again if we could, because that was kind of rehearsal time, I yeah. think. And okay. it was, uh, all right, well, because we're, we're running I was trying uh, to space it just, and well, figure where I'd catch her here and... Uh, I, would, I would basically play it in this direction. Is there any danger Listen, uh, of stuff Terry, being how about there bringing with nobody the, uh, there? tripod in a little closer so you can get a little That's closer side. work on them? But nobody's watching, I don't think. That's just. I know, I know what you get. I saw, I saw how close you could get. I get a full with all the little Yeah, I know. Yeah. Now there's no mic on Bill, man. Where's that mic? No, it was kind of. It was kind of funny. I, she kept wanting to get together and rehearse, and I kept, and so I'd say okay, and then we have some time, and then she would change it. So I finally said, well, I said Thursday morning we'll get together and we'll run lines the way you do when you're on a soap opera. And Pat said, I don't do soap opera. <laughs> So, it's a good thing to be independently wealthy, that's all I got to say. A good thing. Yeah, please. Here we go. Go on, Don. What? You are being used. Oh, as what? A slate. As a slate? Okay, now what are we doing? What'll I do? What'll I say? Why, are you taping that? Sure. You dirty rat. Tape everything. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ, don't you dare. Uh, that would be unbelievable. The thing is that it's not like Edward Albee, you know? 
Hold it, just hold it right. one second. For row two. Go on. Right. It's not like Edward Albee. I mean, Edward Albee writes, writes, you know, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? And George and Martha are super dramatic people. We're given lines that are brilliant lines, oh, fantastically good brilliant. Good that's right. And this is not good writing. And this is, this is bad writing. This script is not good writing. Right. And I think that that's, that has everything to do with that's it. Right. Well, exactly. That we're not in a dramatic bag here. I mean, we're, 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 hand, we're somewhere human, else. Human life is isn't necessarily well written, you know. Excuse me? Human life isn't necessarily well yeah, written. That's, that's well, that's, right. the, that's, the, that's whole the whole point. point. That's the whole point. Here we can find with the ultimate, one of the ultimate banalities of life. And a pair of actors says this ultimate banality. And Bill has given them these lines to play in the first place. Um, and then tells them how to say it. Um, and, the, and the actors try to find the meaning in it. Now, I look at it this way. I, I see every American man at some time in his life saying these lines to every American woman. Every American woman says to every American man, and where are we? Nothing changes. Nothing is revealed. And it's almost as if these lines were planted in their heads when they were born, that they knew when they were three days old that one day they'd say to their wives, you're cutting my balls off. And then, and then the, every woman knew when she was a little girl that someday, here's this line in her head, um, you're, uh, you're, you're, you're ineffectual, some variety of ineffectual. Right. You're you a faggot. You can't right. allow me to be a woman. Right, you're faggot, you're weak, you're this, you're that. That's right. It's, it's doomed to happen. Uh, so so here, here's, here's Bill. He's the director, and this is the sense he's the director. He writes this dialogue and hands it to poor Freddie and poor Alice. Well, what, yeah, but what throws me is that he's, in a sense, written himself a part in the film, and as soon as you turn the camera on, he turns on. I think right. I said to you... Off. Turns, no, on, turns no, on. on, and he's like a bad actor. He turns right. on, and he doesn't turn off into his natural self till the camera stops. Right. And this throws me every time because there's well, Bill this, throwing well, lines away. Well, this is Bill, the point. Bill thinks of himself as an actor. You see, that's yeah. the point. Bill, Bill is an actor. Well, this may get him again. He's an actor. No, I think Bill is a bad actor, and that's somehow he's trying to live out his actor's life through this film. Right. But Bill acts off camera too. I know. I mean, that's one of the strange things about this film. I mean, when he when he comes on, you know, to people. And he says, you know, and he says, you know, something like, Hello, my boy, how are you doing? Mm -hmm. Genius. Beautiful thing you did there. Fantastic. You know, I mean, that's acting. You know, but this is the way. <laughs> but, 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 that's the way that's, but that's the way he does that. And he's acting even then. It's like somewhere the director is hiding. You know, and I think he's making this film, you know, to ex you know, to get it out into the open that he has, in some way, some kind of need, you know, to find out where the line of his own act of, of his acting and everybody else's acting, you know, I mean, where that drops off, where 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 it stops, you know, being doing, you know, doing things, you know, because uh, because because um, because a certain, you know, giving somebody a certain reaction because it's called for because he needs to get something out of them. You know, where you pass beyond that line of manipulation to where you're just being yourself. You know, when Bill is himself, he's very, very quiet. And he doesn't do that at all. Well, what, is, what, what, what does that have to do with this film? Well, I think this is one of the reasons why he's making the film. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're going to have a picture, folks. <laughs> it's hard to believe, but it's going to happen. Come along, come along. Actors. Please, places, please. Jonathan, <laughs> Mr. Larner, your presence is desperately requested. Uh, okay. Listen, are we making a movie or are we not? Did you get that? No. Yeah, it's an evidently. Look, listen, my, uh, my microphone. Three. Nobody cares. Oh, size always in the fucking way. This is the class picture here. That, that, that has this, the is a no. size safari outfit. No, what, what is it uh, you want to know? Well, you wanted to say a few words for George Wallace. <laughs> yes? I'm sorry. Okay. Listen, uh, Terry, uh, incidentally, th this afternoon, uh, after lunch, we have the, the camp version of this picture starring you and Jonathan in the leading roles. Dave, you need a slate? Camp version? Right. I thought that's what I was doing now. <laughs> um, <laughs> Why don't you move it? Move it closer. Okay. Um, where am I coming from? To that's my right. right? Yeah, if she's... All right, now, wait a minute. Uh, Don is going to be here. 
Don is going to be That's here. right. That's what always happens to the man. Back to the camera. No, you, you know, there would be a camera over there. Isn't, isn't there somebody my size who could just wear the jacket? I'll phone the dialogue in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these super commercial Now, how can I say, that's right. Now, where's the product that I hold? All right, now. See, if I don't have a product, I'm helpless. Right. That's what she's complaining about. <laughs> okay, now, um. Every time I try and grab the product, she says, don't touch me. Listen, man, I'm trying to direct I'm the sorry. picture here. I'm sorry, okay. See, you're, you're, yes, you're quipping all the time, you see. We're serious people. I know, you know that. You don't realize that. All uh, right. Now? Now? How now, Brown? Speak up. Why? What's the matter? I see. Uh, because we're having trouble on her microphone. Are this you? Is fine. All right. Oh, well, what's, then what's we'll change microphone. No, no, is that the same okay. mic that... Uh, same thing. This morning I thought it was gone, but it's not. Maybe it's... Uh, is it taped <laughs> properly? Is, is it taped on? Has it taped properly? She has a rattling rib cage. Can you hear me? Like that? All right, let's hear, let's hear, let's hear, talk to uh, Don. How now, He's Brown? Slate, Bob. How Brown, how now? This is the way the world runs, ends. Yeah, this is right. the way the world ends, not with a bang, like a Now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of their party. I, I, I could play it kind of like this, and then she could talk into my mic. Uh, let, me, let me speak to you a moment. Uh, I'm not sure I want to speak to you. <laughs> I think that, uh, that uh, you know, you had the impulse to use certain things in relation to her that turn you off. Do you know what I mean? You started to move in that direction. I'm using her. All right, but I mean, but 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 let, let's explore it. Take my more. cock out and flog her with it. All right, but let's let's. let's you got use, that? Yeah. No, but well, let's 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 use it much more fully. You know, I mean, don't don't inhibit yourself in this area. You know, just just explore. You know, physically what you, you know the thing that kind of bothers me that I'm bugged, uh, and that is that I don't know whether to play mm -hmm. physically. Uh, a, you know, bisexual, like... <laughs> no, I'm being very serious. Yeah. I'm being very serious. Yeah, there's no names. I don't know. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, go ahead. I don't know whether to be a little faggy. Yes, right. Uh, or not. Uh, mm. I have explored the, uh, the kind of thing, and I don't know whether this is a faggy fag or a butch fag. Yeah. Uh, whether it's a guy that goes around and says, all right, you sons of bitches, all right, you cock, you motherfucker. And, you know, you yeah. know, and it turns out he, he's a fag because yeah, he's, right. he's playing the masculinity thing right. to such an extreme. It's yeah. a joke. Yeah, right. So I, I don't know whether to come in with the chain and the black boots or, uh, all right. or, well, to, or to just play it uh, straight. Which would you prefer to play? What, 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 uh, well, in a way, I, uh, in a way, I'd like to be a, a, a closet fag, uh, you know, the kind that nobody ever says. Like there are people that we know since, <laughs> since I now can't name names. Yeah. And you and you finally say, "What? Come on!" And you finally discovered that it was uh, true. Yeah, right. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, let's play that. Let's play that kind of a fag, you know, a, a closet fag, you know. Okay. Well, then I'll just go ahead and. Uh, I'll just play it straight then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too much. Uh, okay, all right. Jerry, I need another sink. If, if it's not going well, I'm going to stop it. Do you, you know what I mean? Uh, it was going well. That's all I can tell you. And uh, I think, uh, you know, you, you just have to believe uh, when I tell you that it's going well. Let's take, take the freedom to move around in this general area here. And let's take the basic situation. 
and um, and uh, improvise uh, on that basic situation. Okay, kind of the same storyline, huh? I, I think so. All right. And see, see what happens. Okay. Oh, we're walking in? No, you're we're in. in. Oh, we're already in. I'm trying to get in. That's the problem of the whole scene. Now that's what clutters up the park, officer. That's true. Okay. That's true. Where are they? Where are they when Would you need you them? That? Listen, and I'm oh, talking I... about those uh, those people throwing. Okay. You're absolutely right. Okay, let's settle down. <coughs> I gotta figure out something. Were you running? All right, I'm gonna try something different. Never gonna have that discussion. Uh, the discussion between Pat and Don. Are you, are you going home? <laughs> here. Yeah. Are you rolling? Yeah. Alice? Come on, can't you? Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Pat, what? Pat, what? Just leave me alone, okay? Leave me alone. Well, the least you can do is have the courtesy yeah. to tell me what's bugging you. All right? Come on. Here we go. Jesus Christ, I thought when once we get married, you know, you change and <laughs> <laughs> you, you know I really don't have any, any idea what you're talking about, Miss Balls. Listen, you skinny little faggot. I am fed up. I am absolutely fed up with this shit. Half the time we go out, wherever we're but going, no, you're you're no. trying give, to all right, give me get an with somebody give me an or on somebody. Give, I don't know what me, you boys do. Give me an example then, all right? You sure as hell don't do anything with no. me. No. <laughs> oh, I what? You no, I just, I just want to hear it again. It. No, you I just want to hear it. And you who stops it. me? I never stop you. I, I can't even get started. That's you stop problem. every... That's your problem. You go uh, see the head don't shrinker. You I, I, I have, haven't I? Mm, right? Three sessions. Five. Oh, no, more than that. Yeah. More than you know Five about. Five sessions. More than you know about. And all I can say is it's about time you started, because you need it. Just remember, the person who says the other one is sick is always the sickest of all. Ha! Huh. Huh. You you're should. the fag. I am not. The fuck you're not, That's boy. something you keep hanging me with, and I am not. The hell you're not. I am not. You can't give me one example. I just did. Oh, no, you said something about today. I have no idea what you're talking about. I talked about. also about the first year we were married. I'm talking about today. Chuck Talk Tim. about today. All right, you've already talked about that. Oh, oh, tell, oh, tell, oh, oh, Tell oh, me oh, about oh, today. Oh, 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 we already talked about That's that. Right. That's over with. That's right. Yesterday you with. were a fag. Today you're not. Tomorrow you're just going to fuck the little rabbits or chipmunks here in the park. How about that, huh? You, you are really sick. Why don't you really try sick. a mosquito next? You are really sick. You're damn right I'm sick. I am sick. Of you. Yes, you have got okay. to believe me. Let's cut it See, down. I mean, this is. No, 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 no. Take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. Why should I take it easy? What? It's going very well. It is not, and you know it. I, th I think she she's upset because I think she was building towards the big climactic shooting. It's tail slate. Uh, Pat has just slightly flipped out. Unfortunately, both cameras ran out. They're changing magazines. Bill is on. I'm going to stay with him until I run out. Well, I was saying that uh, in a way we are criticizing that he does know at times what he is doing, but I think this is what he wants. This is what he is looking for. He, it's a cert, certain experiment, according to the synopsis or the idea of, uh, of the film. It's uh, a conflict between him and the actors in a way that he is doing a test screen, or he is doing just one dialogue. Now, he is experimenting the different ways of directing this same dialogue. But why film it? No, no, no. no. Well, because the only why, way why he is... 
Well, the she only way that, he you, is... You, you, you're yeah. saying that uh, giving them lines, you, you give them uh, the lines, and then you, each one acts it out differently. Right. In that case, you shouldn't do that. You should give them a story, and then they bring out the lines. Something else would come out well, of it. Action is not the problem here. This is not the so issue. what if they're running up a hill or sitting See, on the bench? Right. It, can it can be anywhere. Right. No. He, he, he could, he, if he wanted to do this, he could do it on a, uh, he could do it on a stage, or he could, or he could just simply do it. He's actually mm -hmm. making a film of this. You know, it's, it's not merely an experiment. It's an experiment that's culminating, culminating in a film. And a film is not designed for Bill to keep in his basement. It's a film that's designed to play. It's a film that's designed to, to reveal something, to be a work of art. Well, How in that sense? Well, he can do a lot of work with these different, uh, with all this footage in the editing room according to how the film is edited. Because it's a type of film that you can edit in 300 different ways. Yeah. Did we, you read the concept of it? No I, no, I didn't read the concept of it. And I don't know whether we... The concept we bring doesn't, the concept. because Bill has mentioned I, I read doesn't the concept and the concept doesn't, doesn't help you at not all. One not one bit. No, the point is I don't see where there's a beginning or a middle or an end. I don't mean in a sort of conventional story fashion, but everything we shoot is the same. Rather, right. let's be frank, indifferent actors, right. sort of uh, stage actors, not film actors. So they're all, which as I said, it would be great on Sony videotape and you could right. do a critique. But I don't see where there's any build in the film at all. We well, now you're getting down to the nitty gritty. Every situation is not new. bloody much is happening, if you ask me. I think there what is. Do you mean? I, I think there's. Uh, Nikki, excuse tell me. I, what is happening? I've got to unload myself. Why don't you think that there's nothing happening? I think that. Happening? I think that yeah. It seems to me you're not just having blasting read. Your own part. Go yeah, ahead. Go on. I'll watch that, it. That, um, not having read Bill's concept, it seems to me there's some exploration of the levels of reality. Um, and the supra levels of reality. Okay, so this is a, even another level of reality that we're establishing here. And it may be the, the biggest put on of all time. That, that the celluloid. Recognizing the reality of, or non reality, trying to establish that is useless. For all anybody knows, you know, the Bill is standing right outside the door and he's directing this whole scene. All right, it could be. Nobody knows. Maybe we're all acting. All right, maybe we're all acting. You know, I mean, I'm acting, you know. And that's it. I mean, I was, I was, uh, Bill, Bill could have stood, stood outside of the door and told me, now, now, Rosen, when you get in there, you, uh, 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 tell them about this, you know, when you get to a certain point. Nobody out there knows whether or not we're for real and what is being revealed. My whole point is that nothing is being revealed, and that's the genius of this film, if there is a genius. I think the genius of this film was that it was provided that somewhere during its filming, the crew should decide to, to act as a as an independent unit, come into a room and talk about this film and thereby possibly to change the end of it. That this was planned, consciously or unconsciously, by Bill. You believe in God after all. No, I believe in God. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> marvelous. <laughs> okay. Um, you have been killing my babies one right after the other and you want me to believe in you. Can you come on like a goddamn little mouth? Oh, you just don't want any responsibilities. All, you don't want any that's wives. all part of you your fantasy. Marriage. You don't want it's children. Part of your... Look, going gets a little tough, a little too tough, and you run up. Fuck you! You're gonna Speaking talk that of way. fuck boy, right. how we've we been making gonna... love lately. We're that's never going to have wanted. any babies. That's the way you fuck want you! It. Alice. I'm rolling. <laughs> See, that's the whole thing. Faggot is not a homosexual. Faggot is a certain kind of mentality. And the, the, Freddie happens to be a faggot, but not because he may or may not be homosexual, because he's a faggot. He doesn't know what he wants, and he's like a faggot. This is a very strange thing, because all I really know is myself, and all I really know are the people I really know. And I don't know anybody here, except a few, but I really don't know them. And having and being forced, in a way, to listen to this sordid conversation. Because don't, you, don't, you, you haven't heard it. You haven't been here for eight days and listened to this, this sordid, horrible conversation over and over and over again with black faces, white faces, tall ones, old ones, young ones, skinny ones, you know? Convincing ones, unconvincing ones. It's, you know, it's, it really 
it does funny oh, things well, look, to you. All right, all right, all right. So oh, no, what, what else can we do? I mean, look, we've got all this equipment lying around here. Look, uh, there, there's a here's a tripod. There's a the two still cameras, the three eclairs, there's a RES, we've got three oh, Nagras. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we've got an awful lot of equipment here. Yeah. Uh, it, it would be interesting, it really would be, Jonathan. It would be very interesting to see you uh, surface with a better script. You know, you know and, 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 and there's no competitive thing. Script. I mean, here's a film, you know, yeah. and you're a director. No, a better, a sc a better point, script as a screen test for a pair of actors. The way to make the script better yeah. is to first of all drop the euphemisms. You talk real language. What euphemisms? The euphemisms. Well, Freddie says it. to Alice, she, he says, to, Freddie, Freddie has a cock, Alice has a cunt, Freddie likes or doesn't like to fuck Alice, Alice can't come, Alice has difficulty coming, Alice comes easily. Freddie stays a long time, Freddie stays a short time, Freddie stays an intermediate amount of time. <laughs> Freddie really loves to fuck Alice. You know, you know what I mean? That's the way to talk, and that's the way people. Uh, uh, can, can liberate themselves to be to, to, to talk about right, themselves and what they really there, feel. Like, you know, come on, sport, give me a chance. Give me a chance. That doesn't mean yeah. anything. You, no. you, you give never me a fuck? let me. Is that what it means? You no, know, you never let me touch you. What does that mean? It's yeah. unnatural. What does that mean? Don't you like me to eat you, Alice? That means something. Or eat me, Freddy. That means something. <laughs> you understand? I'm, I'm serious. That is the way the script is transformed from a from a from a, a, a useless faggotry, for, uh, from from a little you know semi annual conceit between two people. To, uh, to something that never has to be repeated again. I think uh, there's another level of this, and if you recall in the, in the original concept, um, the, uh, this screen test, which we are suppo uh, supposed to be shooting, um, is unsatisfactory. If you read the concept, I assume that you read the concept. I haven't read the concept. Oh, no. well. Read the concept. Anyway, the point, is, the point is this, that the screen test proves to be unsatisfactory from the standpoint of the actors and the director and then what happens is that the director and the actors uh, undertake to uh, improvise something better than that which is has been written you know in the screen test uh, this sort of palace revolt <laughs> you know which is no no which is taking place um, uh, is not dissimilar to the to the sort of revolution that's taking place, let's say, in America today, in terms of the fact that, uh, you know, in a sense, I represent the establishment, you know, and and uh, and I've been trying to get you to do certain things, which you've become, in a sense, disenchanted with, you know. Now, your your problem is to come up with creative suggestions, which will make this into a better production than uh, we now have. I don't understand that at all. Well, it, it does. It, does, it, it doesn't matter whether or not you understand it. The important thing is that we surface from this production experience with something that is entirely exciting and creative as a result of our collective efforts, as a result of Marsha's efforts, as a result of Audrey, uh, Cy Motel, you, Jonathan, you, Bob, Roland Mitchell, you know, Nikki, Frank Baker, Barbara Linden. It's important that, that uh, as a result of the totality of all of these efforts, we... Uh, arrive at a creative piece of cinematic experience. Lovers, we could always be. Can you read this? But friends beneath the uh, spreading one. tree uh, turn away. Don't follow me. Alice. No. Alice. No, no. Come on, sport. Okay. All right. That's okay. That's fine. It's coming along. But uh, um, try to go into the, uh, the the situation as you're saying. Uh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yes.
Alice? No. Alice? No, no. Come on, sport. Come on. Don't touch me. For heaven's sake. What's bugging you? Why didn't you tell me who, or rather, who's bugging you? Oh, I can't take that. That's <laughs> Can okay. I ask you a question? No, Is that really what they do at the actor's studio all the time? <laughs> Silence, boy! <laughs> no, that's not true. That's Listen, fantastic. Um, nice. Any, anything that done in the production... Do you want to slay? No, it's all right. Okay. <laughs> Listen, um, um, let's try the... the, 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 the... Uh, hold on more securely to the... Uh, to the basic uh, situation, if you Why can. You ask, and, uh, well, Why are you asking them to sing? Because I like to have them sing. No, no, I, I know yeah, that, but yeah. I wonder what? why. Um, I don't know, just uh, just an idea. I mean, is it an experiment in musical comedy form? An experiment in musical comedy form. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, really, I, I just he just to doesn't know. want to answer. I'm trying to, I'm try, I'm trying to find out if, if, uh, no, if is, the scene can play. Wi I'm just there is an acting it says that, that this can be very useful for, which oh, is yes. what we started doing, yeah. which is to sing and therefore bring other elements that your imagination wouldn't have ordinarily gone to. That's sure. the value. But to sit here and try to do a duet, mm -hmm. you know, I... Oh, right. I quite agree with you. It's like yeah. we should have an orchestra. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> right. I quite agree. Well, I mean, uh, does that answer your question, Mr. Gord? I think we can use this. I think uh, uh, it, will end, it will add an a interesting texture to the film. Don't, doesn't anybody think so? Nobody thinks so. I'm going to call it a texture. Yeah. Well, you can see the comments right on their faces. Just pan over just and look know. at that. Right. I don't do the work. It sounds fair. You're too fast. There's no what? sense of reality in this stuff. I would say it all. There's, There's no reality. sense of reality. I mean, who goes about singing to each other? Okay. What is this thing? I spoke with you, yes, you're from Canada, right? Oh, it's a movie. Uh, so who's moving home? Merci beaucoup. Oh, he's got that big lens. In there. Not, you mean you ain't got a cigarette? Merci, merci beaucoup. No, it's not. It's Jewish. Merci beaucoup. Yeah, it's Jewish. It no, it's Jewish, darling. Really? Very Jewish. Uh, what do you mean, Jewish? That's, I'm that's a Polak, right. and that's Jewish. Hello there, darling. Let me see how you Hello. look. You look pretty good. My name is Victor Bukowski, um, darling. What is this? ABC Bob, camera? There's a release on this. Hello, my name is Victor. How are you doing? It's a pleasure to meet you. I do watercolors. Yes, I do. But they threw my ass out nine weeks ago. I've been living in the bushes. You know why? Because I couldn't pay two weeks' rent. I was paying $45.70 a week. And I couldn't make the scene. Terrible. All my watercolors, my paintings, my brushes are more important than them effing things. I, you know what F is? I, I coined that phrase. Yeah, what is it? You know what? Fuck. Yeah. That's why, why you never knew what that meant? I know. You don't know. Are you so such a virgin like I am? <laughs> We're not virgins, baby. We're virgins in the brain if you want to be that way. So. Yeah, but what do we have to have adaptation okay. of words symbols. Can we be ourselves? You want to go get fucked, get fucked. That's all. That's the way I think. You want to suck, suck. God damn it. Everybody suck. What? I, didn't you suck your mama's nipples first? Well, I did the same thing, you know. What, you're so different than I am? No. And then it goes on and on in, in other perspectives of life. You see? It's... <coughs> <coughs> You'd be tired here nine weeks in these bushes. It's terrible. It's a monstrosity. So where, where are the watercolors? In the bushes? Honey, also? darling, they're not in the bushes. They're at Brenton Hall Hotel on 86th Street. Do you, South. Live, do you live here in the bushes? Uh, what do you think? I, I made a drug out of myself there, but that's all right. At least I, I, I cleaned my mind a little bit. Because I hate bullshit, you know. I hate this life. I'm sorry, I'm not being vulgar. Not at all. That does not impress anything upon. But going around, going you're a lady, but you're still a lady. I'm a lady too, and I'm a man. But going around in the park the here, you, you've sort of become a philosopher, haven't you? I mean, no, you, I, you, I educated. I went to Columbia for four years. Did you really? Damn what, right, what, I did. What did you uh, study there? 
Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Art. I went to Parsons School of Design. Oh, I see. You're, de you're a, uh, what, a uh, scene designer? Architectural designer. Architectural yes. designer. Yes. I'm an alcoholic, by the way, too, you know. Well, listen. Uh, well, I am. I admit it, at least. Yeah. And I'm trying to make some pints myself for tonight. Well, know? let's see. Maybe it gets we... cold out here, baby. And when you live alone, baby, you need something warm. You, you don't sleep butter. here at night, do you? Sure I do. I get in the bush. But the rain fucking drew Are there many people who sleep here at night in the park? I, I tell you, I, there's a, an, an enormous amount of human beings here. Sleeping here in the park at night? Of course. Did, you, did anybody know this? No, I didn't know that at all. Did, did you have a full of shit. Yes. You must have known. I never knew that. I live off 70th Street off the park. They I have do. never seen anybody right. asleep in the no. park. No. Never saw anybody. Lindsay, listen, let me tell you what yeah. happened. Lindsay yeah. made well, a speech yeah. today. Merci beaucoup. Uh, well, Lindsay yes, made a speech this, uh, today. And I'm coming under grand, you know, I thought I'm going to Versailles again, you know, because I've been yeah. there. And uh, he's bullshitting the propaganda. You know how politics work. Do you, uh, do you object to being on candid camera? I don't give a shit where I am. I'm well, in life anyway. You it's better not be candid camera after all the work I did. I got a fucking name that's so long, God damn it, you better have a paper long enough. Write it as long as it takes, as long as it takes. That's it. Sam. Right? Wait, I'm not, I just started. That's just the first one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh. I, and I eliminated the middle part. Oh, I got it. Okay. That's what you sign on your page. Wow. Yes, I do. Yes? Sure. Fantastic. I see. And your address is where in the park? What? <laughs> 69th Street. I love 69th Street. 69th Street in the park. I we're going to put that down as your address. Ooh, I'll, come on, baby. We're going huh? to bush it. Is there a number on the bench? I mean, 69, we're... darling. No number. 69 is enough. 69 is enough. What else you want? Right. 86. That's another number. Can we number, find you, you know? here anytime? I mean, any I... night during the summer at 69th Street? I hope I'm out of here when winter comes. When the leaves fall, <laughs> sure. oh, baby, I got to move. Where do you move in the winter? Who the hell knows? But you were saying that the hippies uh, were uh, uh, are sort of confirmation of uh, what you... Uh, what I was 20 years ago. 20 years ago. And they called me an asshole and everything. Mm -hmm. Because we need changes. We all need money, true. Yeah. But when you have to live off someone else's fucking bank mm -hmm. to make that buck, that's a penis of a dollar. Well, what do you... I do you call mean? it a penis of a dollar. What do you mean living off somebody else's back? How do you mean that? All right, may I tell you one thing? Yeah. I was born in Hatch, New York. This yeah. is the way I call it. Right. Right. Now, when I see the Negroes and the Puerto Ricans and the whites pushing the wagons, yeah. I made of canvas yeah. just using blank face mannequins yeah. because they manipulate in the business form. I know the scene. He's a big fat belly with a cigar smoking, you know, sitting back and ha ha, playing his horses and fucking a Puerto Rican of a colored girl in the back. I've seen the scenes, baby. So you think you think I give up? No, god damn it, I give up. Fuck it. With all the intelligence I got, I fucking give up. You get, it, I'm not the only one. There are many here giving up. Well, why are you giving up? I mean, why? Uh, I can't fight politicians. I can't fight money because I don't have money. Rockefeller, how much money did he spend for his last last goddamn campaign? I can fight that. Well, if every yes, years ago, centuries ago, maybe not today you can. Even with words you can't fight because they're going to knock it off. We have controlled press today, controlled press. It's called controlled press now, and I'm well aware of it. Yeah, what average man could buy a Fortune magazine and learn what's happening or what average man does? What about love, man? Love? Love is a feeling of the penis of the cunt. That's what love is. Oh, boy. On that, on that searching all right. thought. That's we, right. We, that's we all there is, and there isn't any more. <laughs> okay. Okay, brother. Bye-bye. And that's what love is. Goodbye. Love is a feeling of a desire for one for the other. I never like to say goodbye. I say so long. I think you oh. lost something. Yes, I did. Thank you very much, my dear. Le bien. Merci beaucoup. So long. So long. Yes, darling. Keep on walking. Yes, Keep on walking. My friend, I wish I could give those watercolors to you instead of being wasted. Really?
what I was. You were a machine gunner? Where? Yeah, 20, uh, on the USS Alabama. I see. I yes. See. And what, what, other, right. what other wars were you in? What other wars? Only one was enough for me. I couldn't take any more. Ciao. 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 Oh, goodbye. Bye. I never say goodbye. I like to say ciao. And ciao. Ciao. against another recorder, actually. Uh, you don't need to do any recording on this because uh, we, I'm just going to do a line reading of them, you know. And there's, there's no, uh, there's no need to... Which recorder am I going to work against? The recorder, I mean, uh, John here is, is... All right. Hey, I'm picking up the cops. You're picking up the cops? Yeah, I'm Rose Day. Let me see that. On your microphone. Occasionally, of course. No, listen, you might have picked it up Oh no 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 no! That's that's his. Uh, right, that's his. Turn off your uh, your intercom. Huh? Your walkie-talkie. I'm on. It's his walkie-talkie. Okay, let's 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 go down here. Um, what, what is the best? Uh, just want to see. Excuse me. Oh no! Just do it once. Just once. Hold it. Fine. Thank you. Pleasure to 